truly vlog exclusive. What's up, YouTube? It's true, man. And just based off the thumbnail, you could probably already guess what I'm going to talk about. As you can see in the NBA, they had a lot of trades. Dennis Schroeder and Montrez went to the Lakers. And then, oh, I saw this other thing, too. John Wall, he wanted out of Washington, even though he hadn't played in two years. He, he basically robbed them. That's, that's so messed up. But obviously, the main thing I wanted to talk about was James Harden. Now I'm assuming 99% of y'all didn't know that he's my favorite player. And a lot of people have been saying that it's his fault that it didn't work out at Houston because the White Howard went and he wanted out, Chris Paul went and he wanted out, and Russell went and he wanted out. Now for the White Howard, he wanted to be, you know, but he wanted his to be his team and James Harden, you know, I'm pretty sure that was his team, so you could assume that it didn't work out. So I would say that it's James Harden's fault. Two people wanting it to be their team is obviously not gonna have, you know, good chemistry and no one sacrificing at all. Now for Chris Paul, I don't even think he wanted out. I just think James Harden didn't want to play with him, which honestly I feel like they were so close to getting a ring. I forgot what year it was, but Chris Paul got injured. But honestly, I think they should have just kept Chris Paul. Now for us, it was he. He needs a ball in his hands just as much as James Harden, so I could assume what he wanted out. So really, as far as I could tell, the only since two people, two of the two of the three people like needed the ball in their hand just like all the time for their usage rate, and one of them they were like satisfied with being a playmaker. I can only see it being his fault one time, but like if Russell Westbrook needs the ball just you know just as much as James Harden to be in his hands and Dwight Howard in his prime. Then I can't really see how it's his, like how it's his fault that you know they wanted out because they all wanted the ball in their hands. I mean that's just a type of that's just their play style. So if you could James blame Harden, I mean what the hell? If you could blame James Harden for that, then you could blame Dwight Howard and Russell Westbrook for that too. I really I really think they should have just kept CP3 and um what's his name Capella. I don't know why I forgot that. So they, they would have a better running chance, but they were doing that's over now. James Harden wants to trade. Russell Westbrook wants to trade. Many players are unsatisfied, and they try to rob recovery. And so you know, that obviously, that's a rebuild situation. But comment down below what team you think Russell get traded to. Personally, I think it's going to be the Knicks. At first, I was thinking the Hornets, the Hornets, because you know that whole Michael Jordan thing. But especially since the Melo went there, and I'm pretty sure you know he's going to have the ball in his hands. Not sure, you know, Russell Westbrook would want to go back to a similar situation that didn't work out. Even when he sacrificed, it didn't work out. But, you know, he needs the ball in his hand, so I feel like in, going to the Knicks would be, you know, a solid placement for him so he can, you know, get, have his uses ready and become, well, not become, so he can, you know, go back to his average stats or close to it or, you know, something like that. But, you know, back to James Harden, you know, I feel like with the Nets situation, that I, I want him to go to the Nets, but at the same time, with Kyrie Irving being there, I don't know how it will work out. And plus, there's Mike D'Antoni is over there, you know, his old, his old, old, you know, coach in Houston. I'm pretty sure it was his old head coach. I'm not too sure about the positioning, but you know, I'm not sure on like the head coaching and GM positions and all that stuff. I don't know that much about basketball. Besides that. Since, you know, they ran that system in Houston and James Harden, like, and Kyrie played a similar game, but they, James Harden obviously plays at a more elevated level. Like, he, he, like, you know, his last season averages were 30 plus for scoring. So, that immediately makes Kyrie Irving the third option because KD doesn't even need the ball in his hands to be effective, but he prefers it. But, you know, if they could somehow work that out, that would be um that would be nice if they just take turns taking out the taking the ball down the court and then when there's a couple seconds left or something just give it to KD or I don't know. Actually I commented like what I thought they could do, like if they actually ended up playing together. I don't know how seriously that would be taken. Cause I was actually serious. But you know, and like I don't know, like you know how they have certain systems with certain teams. I don't know if like Steve Nash will like that or whatever, or he might just have something totally different, or, like to basketball, like 
if I told this to a head coach or whatever, would he laugh at me and be like, you know what? That's actually a good idea, just based off their play styles. All in all, seriously, that would be taken, but you know, that's what I commented. And I feel like if they do that, or you know, something similar to where like, you know, each person gets a turn with the ball, they wouldn't care because at least they don't have to wait, you know, as long. And I know, like, if they're building a team, they're, they're obviously going to have to sacrifice to some extent, like, I don't know one wants to sacrifice, like, you know, all their points, but, I mean, sacrifice comes with winning championships, and to a certain extent, unless you do, like, different things, because Kyrie, because Kyrie and Harden, they do the same thing, but again, you know, hate the Kyrie, but they, Harden does it at, a, like, a higher level, especially because, you know, Kyrie, he, didn't he get injured within the past, like, injured twice within the past four seasons, or something like that, I don't know, so just based off that, of course, Ryan's going to do it at a higher level because he's played more games than him in general. And if I had to, like, rate, you know, the talent of them, I'd say, you know, like, i say Harden is a five-star MVP and, you know, Kyrie is an all-star, four-and-a-half star, you know, because they're, they're pretty good. You know, again, Harden does it at a higher level. And Mike D'Antoni will be the head coach, if I'm not mistaken. So you can imagine who they'd, like, you know, put the primary who would be the primary ball handler there but again i feel like if they you know try to do what i said in that comment which is beyond unlikely like less than a one percent chance then you know it's like to see because Kyrie and kd already have something worked out i wonder how they will involve harden in it. and the only way i can see that is if they you know have two basketballs because other than that i don't know what the hell they're gonna do and also one bad thing i ain't talk about with the trade is obviously you know what they would have to trade for Harden, like, you know, they got to do a sprint circuit, then with the Garris LeVert, etc. But I feel like if they could, like, try to keep Joe Harris and what's his name? Allen? I, I forgot his name, but you don't know who I'm talking about, the center, the starting center. If they could somehow try to finesse and keep them, I feel like they'll be all right because Joe Harris, he's a phenomenal spot of, like, out of this world. And if they at least have him and even though they they will barely have a bench, they at least have him. You know, Allen. They probably they probably be okay because KD and Harden on that team is already. You know, KD and Harden. KD and Gary on that game is you know already a Western Conference final. So if you had Harden, then you know, and they figure it out and work it out, and they don't be like you know selfish and take turns or do whatever, then that should be a finals. Unless you know they all somehow get locked up. But, you know, with KD there, at some he's going to be at least 70-80%. Not sure about his defensive impact because I think that would take the biggest hit. But, you know, as long as he could do most of what he's been able to do, he should be fine. And also on the off, that's, on the off chance that James Harden ends up going to the Sixers, then, I don't know, I guess that's my favorite team. Even though I don't like Joel Embiid because, you know, he starts a lot of, he starts a lot of, you know, crap and all that stuff. He started to look at it. He has a beef for Russell Westbrook, and you know, James Harden doesn't like him either, but I guess for a chip he would. Because Joel, I would say he's the top three center in the league, something like that. But besides that, you know, let me let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. Comment down below what teams you think, uh, like, what team you think John Waldo, you know, want to sign with or whatever. What if he, because, uh, whatchamacallit? John Wall said he didn't want to be in Washington. What if he got traded to Houston and that made, you know, James Harden stay? I'm not sure how that would work because I'm not going to lie. I don't watch, ever really watch too much of John Wall. Maybe he's more willing to share the ball. But at the same time, the Rockets, they need a center. So they, if they didn't get a I'm pretty sure, ain't never mind. They traded Robert Covington. So he's not going to stay regardless after that other song. And nobody's on that team even is like satisfied or happy anymore. So I think he will be regardless. But you know, you know, besides that, comment down below what players you think are trading to what team. I feel sorry for Bradley Bill because he stayed for John Wall and he, he wants out. He finessed, the, he finessed the Wizards so bad. But, you know, comment down below. We can talk about, you know, trades, team talk, whatever. I need to learn more trade value anyway, so I guess that would help me out. And I'll see you on the next one.